Hello my dear parents and students. I am sure all of you are safe and secure. You are all aware that for the past nearly more than nearly 3 months we are all, we are all locked in because of the deadly COVID-19 virus. We all know that there is no vaccine yet for this deadly virus and we have to safeguard ourselves. So, there is no other alternative to remain in the house. But is that going to be the solution? How long are we going to be in the house? Should we not continue our uh, normal life, going to school, going to colleges, going to educational institutions, going to the office? So, what are we going to do? You are all aware that we have been sending online lessons through our Ekalaiva online classes. And parents you know that in RM Jain group of schools, we care for the golden triangle partners namely the student, the teacher and the parent. We are sending the online classes for the students. We are training the teachers for online classes. Now, we are going to take the third partner to the uh, process of education namely the parents. In these series of episodes, we are going to give you how to take care of your health. Two things you should remember. One is called building an immunity system. Two, if the immunity system lets us down, we need medicines. So, two things immunity and external medicine. What is immunity? Immunity is the self defense. Supposing somebody enters your house, first of all, you should have self defense. You can even kill a person in self defense. If you are weak, anybody will come and take away your property. Similarly, our body should have what is called antibodies. People say that all of us have bacteria inside, all of us have TB cells, all of us have cancer cells. We eat something and so some bacteria enters our uh, system, but the internal soldiers with, who are inside the antibodies fight and send those uh, uh, TB cells and cancer cells and bacteria away. If the immunity fails, like when we are weak, the outsiders will take away our property. So, first build your immunity system. Then if it fails, obviously, we have to go to external help. But in the case of COVID-19, no, uh, no vaccine has been founded. So, these are the two points, first two points. The second point I want to say is, Immunity is an internal process, not an external process. Mitigation is external. Do not touch this, wash your hands, clean up your places, maintain social distancing, wear a mask or all external. This will prevent your getting in touch with the virus. But beating all these precautions if a virus enters, your internal security should act. So, two things immunity and external medicines. The third one is what do we do for increasing the internal immunity system? Again, you have to understand two things. One is your heart functioning, the other one is your lung functioning. The heart is in charge of the portfolio of cleaning the blood, circulating the blood and sending the purified blood to the various parts of your body including your brain. That is the function of the heart. So, the blood pressure, the various heart related uh, events are very important, they are heart related. The second one which plays an important part in your uh, immunity is your lung function. What does the lung do? That lung purifies the air that you breathe. So, the heart purifies the blood, the lung purifies your air. So, what do we do? We inhale and in the air there could be a lot of impurities. The lung purifies the air, takes the oxygen and sends out the carbon dioxide. So, that is the purpose of breathing. That means, there is a technology. I am sorry to use the word technology because we have forgotten some basic fundamental technology. 
you go and see a child breathing the children will be breathing diaphragmatically that means the inhale until the lung is full they hold it and then they exhale it that's why the children have the strongest immunity system yoga will teach you how to breathe right yes i'm telling you we have forgotten the basic things in life we have to unlearn and relearn in this series of episodes our pt masters and our yoga masters will teach you certain basic exercises which will strengthen your heart so that the blood is purified properly and the pranayama exercises will teach you how to funk make your lung to do the function more effectively by inhaling holding and exhaling you are giving the lung enough time to clean it let's say that we have to clean a room the longer time we take and the more effectively we clean the various parts of the room the room becomes cleaner if we don't spend enough time the room will not be clean similarly by inhaling fast holding and exhaling slowly our yoga master will give you the timing he will teach you the various breathing exercises it's called pranayama forget about the word label pranayama it is a breathing exercise throughout the world people talk about the pranayama even today when a person is um, uh, tested positive for covid-19 out there in the hospital they teach them breathing exercises because covid-19 affects the lung they say so you need to have a healthy lung and our yoga master and our pt masters also will teach you certain stretching exercises strengthening strengthening the body and strengthening the heart in short episodes not more than 12 12 minutes they will teach you first along with your family you sit and watch the episode carefully understand the principle involved practice it once rerun the uh, video once again check whether you are doing it it's something like handwriting formation if you write it properly you your handwriting will become all right and then do it three times or four times or five times but allocate some time every day about 15 to 20 minutes in the morning and 15 to 20 minutes in the evening preferably early in the morning why do i say early in the morning please understand again a simple uh, common sense thing throughout the night the plants take the air take the carbon dioxide or retain the carbon dioxide send out the oxygen fresh oxygen and early morning oxygen is called ozone the purest form what do we do we take the air keep the oxygen and send out the carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide goes back to the plant the plant gives the oxygen it comes to us exchange so do these exercises build your immune system see let us not become victims of our own uh, bad habits so all these episodes from today the ekaleva project this portion of ekaleva project are intended for the parents and the students to focus on their immune system and their um, uh, heart function we have enough things to do we have lot of things to enjoy in this life let not this covid 19 or any bacteria take away the sweet portion of our life let not our dear ones suffer from this it's difficult of course it is difficult because we are not used to health care but if you do it 21 times continuously it becomes a habit why 21 times psychology say anything which is repeated 21 times with commitment will become a habit i have been telling you all along that it is not merely a fight against the covid-19 virus it is a fight against our own habits as i said we have forgotten how to uh, breathe we are trying to unlearn and relearn all the best 
टेक केयर बी सेफ मेंटेन सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग लेट एस फाइट दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन एंड कम आउट सक्सेसफुल ऑल द बेस्ट